Hi everyone, my name is Randy. I'm Violet's Closet on Kittizen. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour as a buyer on Kittizen. So we'll be going over filtering and searching and just a couple other little places that you might want to want to know about. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open your Kittizen app. So it drops you right into the main featured feed and you can see at the top Tonight's hash flash is treats, so you can come back at 9 p.m. Eastern time and shop treat-themed items. And then if you scroll a little down, you can see there's a, a scrolling banner here. So the first one is your referral code. If you tap on it, you get your referral code and anyone you've referred. And it's a really great referral program. I'm just going to plug it right here. So it's uh, you get 20% back the first month of anyone that you refer, anything they buy and sell. So it can it can add up for sure. And then the next banners are the Just In For Kids and the Just In For Women. And then you can shop by brands and then buy gift cards. And then the next banner is Feature Banner. Now, sometimes all these banners kind of move around and stuff, but so it tends to be a mix of fe featured items and then also like personalized banners. So this one is my one of my filters I have. And then here is some featured stuff, some more personalized banners. So this right here, you can shop by style. So if you are interested in a certain style, a lot of these are brand-based. There's a few hashtag brand, hashtag based ones as well. The next banner is the hash flash picks banner. So these are the featured picks from the hash flash from Tuesday. And then if you want to shop all of the listings, you would just tap on that banner, right? And if you want to know what the upcoming ones hash flashes are, there you go. If you like bundles, you can tap on that banner. The shops we love. This is our four featured shops. They switch out every Monday. And then these are our featured collections. So these are collections that are curated by our kids and community members, and you can just tap on the collection and you can shop it and look at it. They are quite cute. All right, and then Style Scouts, if you don't have time to sell, we do have Style Scouts that sell for you, so you can find a scout near you with that banner. And then these ones are community groups, social groups in the app. There's an ISO group if you're looking for an item. It, there's a shop share group where it shares, sellers will share like their shop discounts and deals and stuff. And then seller corner where the sellers hang out and ask questions. And then the style group for style related questions and comments. And then information on our reroute program. And then your my feed, if you tap, look at the top, you see featured. If you tap on my feed, this is a feed of anything that is posted from your uh, shops you follow. So if they post to this feed or if they post in a group, it'll be shared here. And then icons at the top are in groups I'm in. So they just get bumped to the top so for easy access. The most important feed is shopping. These up here are filters that I have created and then I've saved and then they automatically get thrown at the top here for easy shopping. You can see when you come into the app, you could just tap the shop and then tap on the filter and it'll just pull up all the items in the filter. It's super fast and I love it. And if you go down here, you can shop by like department if you're looking for boys items and you're looking for clothing. You could choose a six. So with this method, it does create a filter for you, except I don't like to use this because I like to choose lots of sizes. So what I tend to do if I want to create a new filter is I go to home, just in for kids, and then tap on the filter and then let me choose. So I'm going to want kids clothing, kids shoes, and kids accessories. And then I press the back filter button. I don't care which brands kids clothing sizes so let's say five and six and extra small and then kids shoes let's say those and then for the accessories I tend to not choose sizes otherwise if you do want to choose sizes you need to click on the other sizes and then if I didn't want like infant accessories in my filtered feed because my kids were large so then I would just like choose 
little kid maybe and like the big kid all of those and then it's for violet let's say so she's a girl pricing you can adjust i don't care i like to see it all and then condition i don't care about either so then i would press save instead of apply because i want to save it and then we can apply it right after let's call it b and then save and then apply and so now it's cool so if you go back to your shopping you see that the new filter now is there so let's go to my actual violet filter and let's say i'm looking for a rainbow shirt i have all of this to look through this is where the search box comes in handy i am specifically looking for mini bowden rainbow so then all of the mini bowden rainbow in her size since we have her filter on will pop up if you let's say you have this filter on and you want to look for a rainbow shirts like tops like that some people put shirts some people put tops some people put tee some people put lawn sleeves so i this is where i like to use like a subcategory so let's say mini bowden and then i'd ba go back to my kid clothing and then i do tops and tees and then save it apply okay so let's say I want, a, so I have mini Bowden tees up basically in violet size. So now I'm gonna look for a unicorn. I want a unicorn tee this time. So I'm gonna type unicorn. And now it'll pull up all the tops in that filter. So my filter is the size, the brand, and the subcategory, which is tops and tees. And now I added that unicorn layer. And so this is what I'm getting. That is how you'd use the search and the filter together to find more specific items. So then the last place is the me tab. Actually, we have two spots left, sorry. So alerts at the bottom, that little bell, tap on that. You have three different columns of alerts. And then you go to the me tab and you won't have any listings here unless you're a seller and a buyer. So it'll just be blank. There's also faves, any posts you've posted, and then collections. So collections are great. I actually, I use these for shopping and for creating like n regular collections that are around a certain theme. So you can see this one's tie dye. But as you can see down here, I have Grego shopping, which is my son's shopping cart basically and items that i'm interested in purchasing for him i might not purchase them now because he's not ready to grow into them or i'm waiting for a price drop or waiting for more items from the seller or you name it so ones i'm not sure about so tap on that and basically like any item i'll just put it into this collection it's actually really nice viewing because you can just scroll right down which is another reason why i love collections because they're so versatile all right so then the last couple spots are you can see right below your profile here orders so this is where your purchases would be this is a permanent spot for all your purchases so you can always view whatever you have bought in the app um, you can always contact a seller right there through the listing screen and then you can also see messages there and it'll have like a little red dot when you have a new message you'll get one in your alerts but you also see it in the messages and then below that is invite friends earn cash again the referral program all right so i think that is it oh one last thing so settings this is that gear icon in the upper right tap that find friends so this is where you top type the shop name of somebody and you do have to be specific with it so i can't just do violets because i would have to, to actually look at myself i would have to do violets like with the apostrophe and everything you'll see some closets have emojis before their name and you have to make sure you type the emoji before their name when you're searching for them otherwise their shop name won't pop up all right and you can edit your profile there are notifications that you receive so you can turn those on and off and then push and in-app notifications you can turn those on and off you can get super specific with those and then this is where you manage like your payments and your addresses and stuff like that all right thanks so much for watching i hope it helped and if you have any thoughts on future videos that you'd like to see just leave them in the comments below bye